I just got liquidated. The question is, will I continue to loan memes in this market? You probably have the answer to this question flashing in your mind. Speak it loud. Say it. What your mind tells you. Of course, I fucking will. Let's figure out what is happening with the market. Why we are dumping. Everyone knows why we are dumping. It's just a fucking manipulation, right? And what happens next? Should you be scared? Should you be buying? Should you essentially flow under this brief taste of positive sentiment? Or is the situation, is the picture actually changing? Biggest side of this cycle is to make sure that Ethereum is bearish before Ethereum ETF. Imagine how well they constructed it, how well they've done this. They really persuaded people that Ethereum is bearish one week before Ethereum ETF. Let's actually figure out, should you be buying now? Should you be longing now? I will be showing what I do and I will share my projections on the current market. Yesterday I got liquidated out of $70,000. I was holding meme coins into the last dip. And as you can see following this screen, uh, I was holding hard to my cock, but unfortunately my cock dumped and liquidated me. And I was also holding to my beer, but I don't drink and I'm not an alcoholic. That's why probably my beer also dumped me, right? It's definitely an unfortunate situation. Would I do it again knowing the outcome? Well, probably not. Obviously, if I would knew the outcome, right? But from the risk reward point of view, I think it was quite a nice type of pick. The only issue that I had is that I did not focus on one thing and I did not add enough margin. And my like entry point for cock was very bad. Like I should have waited till we would essentially revisit range lows. But I'm not a very, very good trader. But I do believe for some reason that luck will actually be on my side quite soon. Quite soon I might actually be showing you something. We will be seen, right? The main thing for us is to figure out what actually happened during the current dip. And something I'm showing you currently is actually indicator showing 10x leverage loan liquidation for BTC, right? This line, if we touch this line with the chart, it means that 10x leverage longs for Bitcoin got liquidated. And what I told you a couple of videos back is that if we are going down like through 50, 55, 54.5, we are screwed. Like we are going back into the, into, into the bear market. And the main reason for that is because each time we actually were touching this level, specifically on a four hour time frame, we were bouncing back. Bounce back, bounce back, bounce back as well. If we are not bouncing back, it's a very, very bad sign. At the same time, Several times we also had cases where we were going a bit through and bouncing back from there. So nothing bad about these type of situations. Like even right here on 25th of June, you can also see that we went through a bit, but we bounced back. Currently, we're in the similar situation and we bounced back already. To my point of view, I do think that it's a very, very bullish bounce at this stage, especially, especially if fundings are actually negative currently and people treat this bounce as the bounce from essentially breaking certain level, expecting that we are going lower. I don't expect us, honestly, to go lower from these levels. I do expect that we finally reversed and I actually have the whole scenario for what will be happening on the market. Moving further, I will I will present and tell the whole scenario as well. Yo boomers calling for meme coins this. Now is your chance to load up on memes and switch sides to join the new wealthy elites of 2025. Unless you wanna stay a sideline cock the entire cycle. Pusios. I'm sorry for the language in this message, but I believe this is a very, very important thought that I need to communicate to you. I need to persuade this to you to actually make your future better, right? I think is happened with altcoins currently is that most altcoins, they are actually in the hands of market makers and VCs. And I don't believe that a bunch of retail market participants, such as you and me, are holding a bunch of alts. I do believe that maximum that we are doing is we hold alts on leverage. So we are leverage longing them. And this is the issue. Essentially, the reason that market makers and VCs only have them is because they they receive enormous amounts of them for unlocks. And some of these VCs, they essentially transfer these tokens to the market makers to actually be able to take profits more effectively. Right. Or essentially dump more effectively as well, because they enter the short and they just start to dump the whole 
token on the market. That's a very, very easy type of thing. And honestly, why you're called boomers, the guys who are holding most of the odds here, is because you're not adapting at this stage. And the main issue with that is because like why you're buying alts is because previous cycle people were buying alts and they were getting rich and such as a lot of matters of the previous cycle that were working and that are not working currently. This is one of them as well. I do believe this is the matter that won't work in this cycle. And you have this bias that, oh, it worked then, so it will probably continue to work as well. And the reason I'm explaining this to you currently is because you, you have to understand that your future in any case is capitulation into memes anyway it will happen the only issue that it will be happening not currently where you still have a chance to overperform your boomer friends very very nicely it will be happening closer to the top and eventually you will probably get dumped on and you will be living this cycle very very unsatisfied and currently like it's not it's not that the generous that I was sharing uh, about meme coins like in December, right? We are not in that situation already. We're in the situation where we do have a bunch of established memes that went through multiple dips. The, and you know that they're not going anywhere out of this market. They own centralized exchanges. The teams are well known that they're working and things like that. These are new types of assets. And I can explain limitations of previous type of assets and current types of assets easily. In the first place, with any alt, you have a certain entry point. You need to understand technology, you need to understand what the fuck it's actually doing, you need to be sold on this thing actually like making sense. And secondly, each and every altcoin is essentially a software startup, a tech business. And you are limited, firstly, by the deliverables that engineers need to provide. That's why we have a bunch of like projects out there and people are just saying about them, like they've been on the market for five plus years, they did not deliver anything. Like Cardano, for example, right? And the second issue is that when you have a software product, you kind of start to call yourself a business. And that's where you are setting limitation on the valuation because who the fuck can value the meme? This is like one of the main utility of the memes. Memes don't have the ceiling. Each and every tech product actually has ceiling. This is the issue. And this is why you will be underperforming following this safe, business type of focus from previous cycle people understand this is vaporware people understand that this is fucking nothing go reposition your outs if you don't want to sell all of your portfolio and go 5x leverage this is something i think you need actually to do currently you will you will make a bunch of money not a financial advice go reposition part of your portfolio into memes go check out how they will perform one month two months out go compare them with your outs if they do well reposition the whole thing into memes because we do see that memes are actually reacting very, very well from the current dump, right? So yesterday was the largest liquidation event since FTX. For real, how is that not the bottom? We're expecting something worse to happen than FTX while S&P keeps making new all-time highs. I truly agree with this uh, sentence because we are in the largest discorrelation between crypto and stock market. I do think that the reason we are dumping for two months is actually me. Because I was too convinced at the start of May when I was uh, screaming and saying about new all-time highs for Bitcoin and Ethereum in May. And once I was the only person who actually predicted right the Ethereum ETF approval, influencers, they started to repeat after me. They started to say the same thing that we are actually seeing all-time highs in May. And unfortunately, what it resulted into, it resulted into them influence, which resulted in large amount of people opening a bunch of loans and a large amount of people, unfortunately, can not make money. So I do apologize for you for getting liquidated a bunch of times in the recent time, because I am the only reason that the market actually had this manipulation dip. I do think that some of the manipulators, they can actually watch this channel as well, along with influencers, a bunch of influencers that are watching this channel. So please, if you're an influencer, make sure do not spread this positive sentiment. Just watch it for yourself. Don't like this video. Do not spread this positive sentiment because we will fucking dump one more time. Don't spread the positive sentiment. Go say out loud that we are going to 40k. Everything is going to shit. People are selling. Go do these things because I have done my thing already. I got liquidated three times, four times. I gave back to the market around $700,000 in the last couple of months. 400 
5k round were liquidated and others i was just buying meme coins that unfortunately went to zero there were scams like solana meme coin scams like scam memes on scam chain what can you say about it right do not spread this message spread the message of 40k this would essentially make sure that we will be pumping no we are not in bear market yes we are close to the bull run i actually called the bottom today i called the bottom 10 hours ago we can see what was happening 10 hours ago uh, that's pretty much around 9 a.m my time right here 55.3 k right not that bad 53.7 was uh, the absolute bottom so i would say it it was not that bad we would check out what will be happening over time the reason i actually called the bottom is because i saw this message from peter schiff who is a very very known hater of bitcoin and crypto and the reason he hates is because he hates the fact that a new generation is not buying his worthless bags of assets like stocks and gold and real estate it's all a fucking scam the only reason they are pushing this is because they bought it earlier 40 44 fucking years ago buying it for for two apples and selling it for several million dollars currently right at 54k my guess is that over 70 percent of those who bought bitcoin etfs are losing money when bitcoin trades below 38k 100 percent of bitcoin etf buyers will be losing money that's when i expect the real ceiling to start as most crypto ETF speculators will throw in the towel for good bullshit uh i'm sorry yes he's right he's right we are going to 40k i wanted to cover this comment from yesterday's video Boba Billions, I'm holding with you, but notice Stan does not talk about Boba anymore. He sold his Boba bags. Lol, it's up to us now. I did not sell my Boba bag. It's just that me talking about Boba does not move the chart of Boba. That's why I shut the fuck up and I allow people to talk that actually move the chart of Boba. I hope you do understand this message. You won't be able to see this deep on the chart in 50 years, says Jusu hard with the chinese names right i just aged 50 years in a week this is ape the guy pretty much was entering longs in millions of dollars like positions in millions of dollars but he was entering at the previous dip at the end of june and prices they were actually lower so he should be right weak hands out only strong will survive down a house and a few sports cars on leverage but i am built to withstand the storm i will gamble until the end agree I already told you about the losses that I essentially did and I think it's all gonna be all right and I will be making it all back so I'm hoping for the desperate someone has to do it and here the guy pretty much just copy fractal and he's saying that yeah and remember there was a video where I was copying the fractal of oil since 2002 on the chart of Ethereum and I want to revisit that fractal with you this is the fractal of oil price movement since 2002 you even see this high right here you see a dip you see this high and you see this week exactly at the levels that the current week for the Ethereum and you might not see it currently right but I'm telling you this will repeat a hundred percent when Ethereum is at five thousand dollars on 28th of August remember me who actually told you that and showed you by copying the fractal of fucking oil price movement from 2002 and applying it to the chart of Ethereum what's the word for something that goes from 71k to 57k in under a month store of value this is another bottom signal from someone who's hating on BTC also some type of stocks guy and he's just pissed off that no one is buying his worthless crap but he pretty much just bought early, right? Stocks are meme coins as well. They're kind of what altcoins to current boomers in crypto, and stocks are like altcoins for even older boomers in the real world, right? Because they actually support themselves with real revenue and things like that, yet they don't have fucking connection, any fucking connection to these things as well. And it's all like over overvalued as shit kind of giving you like these fairy tales about about why this is v valued this way and not this way and the only reason it's valued this way is because someone is actually thinking on buying it and multiplying and selling it to someone else at the higher price these all are fucking meme coins get serious it's so over right here 
Also, a guy who is copying fractal, I love the guys copying fractals. I'm doing it myself and I'm quite right with my fractal of oil movement since 2002, right? If you can't stomach this volatility, man the heck up, clean up your diet and drink some kombucha. How do you want to stomach the huge pumps that come after this bear trap if you can't handle this insignificant dump? We are bulls and bulls come with big balls. Run the numbers. I do agree with that, but we have to... We have to stop on a very, very important thing that you probably miss from your end. How do you want to stomach the huge pumps? You might think that, oh, like it's so easy and things like that. And the guy currently who pretty much lost at least $900,000 worth of profits because I closed my bread loan. I opened it. I was at margin. I sit through the deep. It, everything was all right. And once we started to surge back up, I started to partially close it and I close it eventually at like in 80k profits when it pretty much deep to 0.13 or something. This is a very, very important skill to be able to hold your profits as well. And I was not that good with it. I've made mistakes with pepper. I've made mistakes with bread. I will make sure that I won't be making these mistakes moving further. Because if you are, you are in the longs from the lows, they have the option to multiply and multiply and multiply at this stage of the cycle. Man, just hold it. Just don't take any fucking profits. It's all just to take your money. BTC 52,000 is our support before 42, 44. Weekly is looking rough and is setting a look more and more like weekly distribution rather than accumulation. Please, I want to ask you for a favor. Once we are pumping like heavily next week on, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, and once you had enough time to process the information that yeah, we are probably pumping. Now I'm convinced because price has actually convinced me. We probably won't be seeing these numbers. We probably will never see Boba at 100 million market cap ever again in our lives. I'm convinced in that. Once you will actually be sure about this, go and unsubscribe and unfollow all these people. At the same time, we kind of need them. And, you know, I'm starting to think that bearish sentiment and bearish posts, they can easily be paid for as well by the manipulator because they're so so important it's very very important to control the sentiment and you can control the sentiment by essentially buying public figures who can tweet something on twitter because we need this fear i will tell you what will be happening because i can see the future 100 percent we will pump currently we will go into the chop over the weekend over the weekend, there will be a bunch of bearish sentiment, the, despite the price holding essentially around the same levels. We will dump on Monday. On Monday, we will dump not enough to liquidate current liquidation levels if you are opening longs currently. So I think that opening longs currently is a great idea. So I don't think on Monday we will liquidate till that levels that you would have currently if you would open longs currently, because I believe that once you will be pumping, we will be pumping higher. Therefore, once we'll be dumping on Monday, we will not dump low enough, right? And after that, we're going into Valhalla starting from the next week. And once you've seen this happening on Wednesday, on Thursday, once you got convinced by that, right? Please make sure unfollow and unsubscribe these type of people because they're probably paid to create the sentiment, right? Odds of a September rate cut have moved up to near 75%. This is so fucking crazy. And it's actually a very, very bullish sign that the market is not pricing in, in it. Again, if you would feel positive sentiment from this video and if you are an influencer, please do not spread it on your channel. Please don't press like on this video as well. If you will do it, we will dump the same way we actually dumped in May. Different reality was prepared for us. I changed that reality, unfortunately. Do not follow these positive feelings of sentiment. That I'm spreading with you. Just keep it to yourself. Just know. Just open longs for yourself. Do not spread it. Don't farm social capital on this. Because if you will, we will dump. The biggest side of this cycle is somehow convincing everyone that Ethereum won't simply repeat what BTC did post ETF. This is a very interesting take. And this is where the opinion leaders might actually be paid to spread this sentiment. This is a very, very interesting thing. The space is very, very manipulated. And very interesting things are definitely happening in this space. Won't be surprised to see a V-shaped recovery very quick. GCR, GCR, GCR. None of my prior views have changed. Have always said to study some of 2020, 2021. Make sure you survive to see the mountain top. I do believe that I forgot to tell something important to you. Something about Indian Blast. So we hold 
very, very nicely. This is just a supreme asset at this stage. We held through $20 million market cap. We are like fucking Spartan soldiers. No one was selling. Like, imagine the strength of community. Imagine this noble divine energy that no one is selling through the biggest, largest dip since the time of FTX. Imagine no one actually doing that. No one. We were holding our $20 million market cap. This is so crazy to understand. I'm infinitely grateful to each and every holder and community member of Indian Blast. We won't be able to do it without ourselves. Each and every one of us actually matters and mattered through this deep. Together, we will fucking go into Valhalla. We have Ethereum ETF. We have Ethereum surging up. This ecosystem will just pump like crazy with the main meme coin. Pump like crazy because we are a meme coin. We don't have any ceiling. We can be worth $1 billion, $5 billion, $10 billion, $20 billion. And no people will say this is overvalued because this is a meme coin. It can be worth whatever the fuck we want. It does not have mind limitations, which is the main limitation out there. Free up your mind. And that's, that is the beauty of it. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my holder friend on Blast. There are a bunch of catalysts upcoming for this token. I do think that shortly I would also be doing a video about what actually comes next. What we have to look up to. What would be the liquidity inflows for us? How would essentially be joining you people into our beautiful community? On this note, I would like to end this video. Thank you very much for watching this. I will be seeing you tomorrow.